Hi and welcome to Spotlight video number seven for the RoboCup Humanoid League. Last week we had the deadline for submitting to the RoboCup Humanoid Soccer Competition and also the deadline for submitting a first version of the robot model for inspections. In total, we received 17 submissions from teams in the kid size and three from teams in adult size. In kid size, 13 out of the 17 have submitted a robot model for inspections. And in adult size, we have two teams who submitted a robot model for inspection. We are especially happy that we have two new teams that entered the league, one in kid size from Poland and one in adult size from Greece. Now that the robot models are submitted, we are entering into the review stage. If you have been registered as a reviewer for your team, you will now be able to see the teams that you are supposed to review on the start page in the submission form. You can then click on review and you will see, you will see the overview of the team. You will be able to download the robot description file and the team configuration file. And then below you have the form for reviewing the robot models. You have a number of specific questions about the robot models. If you're unsure whether a robot model is according to this specification or not, you can check the laws of the game for the RoboCup Humanoid League virtual competition and also the specifications for the robot models that you both find on our Humanoid website. If you feel that in a robot that a robot model is not according to the specifications for one of the questions, you can click no, and then you will see a text box appearing. And in this text box, please specify as detailed as possible why you believe this robot model is not according to the laws and also how it is possible for teams to fix this. And just as a reminder, the details for providing peer reviews is May 3rd. We are now in the final stage of implementing the auto referee for the soccer competition. And during this, we have noticed a number of aspects that require clarification or some more detail in the current version of the rulebook. Hence, we will need to change some small aspects in the version of the rules that is currently published. We are right now working on finalizing these details together with Cyberbotics, who is working on the implementation of the auto referee, and we hope to be able to publish an updated version on the rules as soon as possible. When it comes to the implementation of the auto referee, we have experienced some small issues with particular parts of the implementation. This concerns especially the ball holding. Ball holding refers to the ball being in too close proximity to a robot or multiple robots for an extended period of time. So it becomes difficult for opponent robots to approach the robot and retrieve the ball without committing an offense. The computation of ball holding, according to the current version of the rulebook, requires the computation of the convex hull around all robot at every single simulation step, which is very computationally heavy. So right now we are investigating a couple of other options to do this as closely to the rulebook as possible. However, this investigation has slightly delayed the timeline for the order of a redevelopment. This is why in the next update that we will release hopefully by the end of this week, we will not have the full implementation of ball handling, ball holding, and also forceful contact. However, by the end of the week, we expect to be able to deliver all the other functionality of the auto referee that is also extensively tested. We have worked on a number of automated tests that ensure that the auto referee actually behaves according to the laws of the game. And we hope that we'll be able to deliver this by the end of this week. And then the other features, ball handling, ball holding and forceful contact, we hope to deliver with a delay of approximately two weeks. But we will keep you updated on these features as soon as they become available and as soon as they are thoroughly tested. Based on the slight further delay in the auto referee development, we also need to postpone the updates on the server infrastructure and the robot controller API for another week. 
So right now we're expecting these updates to be made available by May 10th. That was already all I had for this week. Let's take a look at the upcoming deadlines for the next weeks. As I said, right now we are in the peer reviewing process of the robot models and the reviewers have until May 3rd to provide the reviews for the robot models. And then the teams will receive feedback from the peer reviewers and also the TC on May 7th. By the end of this week, April 30th, we will make an updated version of the auto referee available that includes almost the entire functionality of the auto referee apart from ball, ball holding, ball handling and forceful contact. And then on May 10th, that is Monday in two weeks, we're expecting the final API specifications for the robot controller and also a second update of the server infrastructure requirements to be released. That is all I have for this week. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to come to our office hours tomorrow, send us an email or write to us in the forum or on Discord. And then I'll see you with more updates and hopefully some new insights into the auto referee on next Monday.